The Israeli media is under attack from armies of fake news bots. The mission? To trick Israeli journalists into publishing false information, poisoning an election season with fake news. I got contacted by an account called Leakers WB, Leakers Without Borders, um, with a new fake story. Um, they sent it to me in a private message on Twitter. Lahav Harkov is the Israeli journalist most targeted by fake Twitter accounts. On Twitter, it was the most relentless. I would really, for a long time, I was getting hundreds of messages a day. Here we reveal the top 10 targets of fake news accounts, including some of Israel's best known personalities, according to a list leaked by an official. And Israeli startup Communit has been on the front of Israel's cyber defense. One of the strategies we've seen so far is creating a fake account, often stealing the picture from other people, try to have the main account look as legitimate as possible, and then use the bot network to create sort of like a queen hive effect. So the main account is the one that's actually performing the attack towards the reporters, and the rest of the the rest of the network is amplifying the message and giving more weight to that queen bee. This is Alison Derma. She's a freelance journalist, but she doesn't really exist. By scrolling down to her accounts, I can see all sorts of weird accounts. In recent days, her operator has been sending Israeli journalists fake stories. Lahav Harkov was targeted in a similar attack with a fake website that looked legitimate. It said that Israel's ambassador to Sweden, Elon Bendov, met with a UN envoy that deals with the civil war in Yemen. Um, and they sent it to me from a Russian website. Address of the website was .co as opposed to .co.il, which is the real website. The attacks use bots to boost certain messages and also intimidate reporters. They were trying to sort of teach me a lesson. Maybe I would change my mind, maybe I would retract. When Lahav tweeted against Poland's controversial Holocaust law, she was subjected to a mass harassment campaign. When you, over and over again, you're getting the exact same things, the exact same pictures, the exact same wording from different people, um, that it seems less likely that each one is an individual that just happened to write that. Today, Israeli startup Communit and the Israeli Foreign Ministry's R&D department are launching a new free cyber defense tool for Israeli journalists to report fake news bots and get them taken offline. Once a reporter blocks a person, we then get a notification about it and we start investigating this specific person and trying to cross references with other information we have. In order to report to Twitter, uh, those types of networks are trying to push fake news. As elections approach, these fake news attacks will surely intensify because this is not a future threat. The attack is well underway. Elon Levy, I24 News.